set it up over there somewhere. It's the first day of school and as the clear cut leader of the TV broadcasting class, I have a job. Now I have an obligation to lead my subordinates to greatness. What the heck is going on with this stupid tripod? Just click the metal thingy and the latch will open and the camera should fit in the thing. What? Just do it, it's not that hard. How would I describe Pat as a leader? Oh, okay. So you know that feeling when you're at a shoe store and you see your favorite pair of shoes that you've been wanting for like forever and it's in your color and it's in your shoe size and then some other woman grabs it? Yeah, that's Pat. Where is their metal thingy? Oh, well, it looks like on the first day of school I already have five. Oh wait, six girls want me to be their homecoming date. That's great, Pat. I, I, I didn't know there were any freshman girls left. Fine, I'll help you with this stupid tripod. Hey Jess, do you know how to fix this? I just keep hitting the button and it clicks and does other stuff. I don't know. Christian, just because I'm Asian doesn't mean I know everything about technology. It's really offensive to me when people just assume things about my race. Okay, maybe I was having a bad day, but people are always making generalizations about me. No, I'm not in all AP classes and I am a fantastic driver. Thank you very much. Well, two fender benders since July when I got my license. But it wasn't my fault. How was I supposed to know that turn signals weren't optional? Hey, are you even listening to me? Brad's in the editing lab and you just walked right by him. Why? I know why. Because as soon as there's a technology problem, just ask the Asian. Hey, where are you going? I was saying something. <laughs> hey, you fixed it. Shut up. Walk away. Ari, if you're a senior, why do you stay here for lunch? Um, I, I guess I just don't want to grow up. Plus, where else could you get a cookie like this? Um, probably at every bakery within a 100 mile radius of GBN. CC, trust me, when you get close to leaving this place, you're gonna start to become nostalgic. Are you done yet? Uh, yeah, I, I just finished it. Ari, is the project done yet? Yeah, I just finished. Ari, we need your project for the show. Yeah, I just finished it. Yeah, I'm done with the project. Every time I walk down the essay hall and see the freshmen sitting there, one thing comes to my mind. The fact that they're sitting on that disgusting floor? No, I, I think it's cool how you can look at a place in the building and think about all the great times you've had there. Sure. I'm only a sophomore, but I've seen a lot of things around these halls. Strange things. Scary things. Things that keep me up at night. 
Go Spartans! Are you eating a lettuce wrap with just shredded lettuce in it? Yeah, my nutrition coach said I need to eat negative 600 calories a day. It's called the Sharapova Smorgasbord. You have a nutrition coach? Yeah, but I only see him four times a week. I mean, I'd like to see him more, but between my sports psychologist, my reflexologist, my conditioning coach, my outside tennis coach, my other outside tennis coach, and of course, my six hours of practice a day, I just can't seem to find the time. Yeah, I know, I'm a bit overscheduled, but it's not all about tennis for me. Just last week, I got to watch TV for like an hour. What's up, guys? Yo, Alec, what's your three rep, man? Dude, that's Alec. I'm Alex. Oh, sorry, bro. Alex, how much is he lifting? Pat, I'm Alec, not Alex. A L E C, not A L E X. I mean, come on, how hard can it be? Plus, I'm way better than Alex. I mean, he's not gonna hear this, right? Crap, all right, I gotta get back to the broadcasting room, but I think Camilla wants you to ask her to homecoming. Wait, what? I'll be honest, I'm not that surprised. At the end of the year last year, I helped her with her doggy audition for Legally Blonde. She honestly couldn't have done it without me. Uh, hey, can you get that for me? Yeah. Oh, no, that. See, man, over the summer, she had me reading Shakespeare with her for one of her auditions. The heat between us was crazy. I was her passionate Romeo. Oh, Romeo, doff thy name and for that name which is no part of thee, take all myself! I take thee at thy word. Call me but love, and I'll be new baptized. Henceforth, I will never be Romeo. Alex, you're my bro. We've been friends for years. I'm gonna be honest with you and straight and tell you this as nicely as I can. There is no effing way she'll pick your sad excuse for an existence over this fine temple. That was your way of saying that nicely? Anyway, after this set, let's go back to the broadcasting room to figure out who Pat was talking about. Just be prepared to be disappointed. Hey guys, come over here. Jimmy, get these fellas a couple of rackets. All right. First team to five has to buy the other team lunch. Seriously, we just got here. Yeah, and this show is suffocating me. Hey, can I get some help over here? Are you saying you're afraid to play us? I mean, I don't mean to brag, Brad. We're actually looking at the 4-5-B sophomore gym eclipse ball champs from last year. Were we really the champs in 4-5-B gym? No. But were we in 4-5-B gym? Yes, we were. All right, we only have like 10 minutes left, so I'll serve. Don't screw this up. Ah, uh, sorry. 1-0. Uh, Why? Why did you set them up like that? You're acting like we have some sort of skill at this sport. One serving zero. Oh, gosh. Darn it. Uh, what are you, some sort of professional, huh? I mean, I play tennis. Well, tennis, you say? <laughs> Funny that you mentioned that, because... We're actually the sophomore gym tennis champs from last year. Two serving zero. <sighs> yes. Right. Looks like we might be buying lunch. Hey, it's not over until the fat lady says it's over. 
We won 5-0. I think you might be taking this loss a little too personal. Okay, it's the worst thing ever. You're right. Whatever. So, Zach is just a total stud at ragged sports and we didn't know. Well, I'd like to welcome everyone back for another semester of Advanced TV. Uh, as many of you guys know, um, you can take this class multiple times for credit. Camilla. Phone. <laughs> All right, well, many of you are familiar faces. Uh, raise your hand if you've been here at least one time. This is your second or third time in the class. Awesome, good to see you guys. Um, and for those of you guys, uh, we got some newcomers here. I'm really excited. Raise your hand if you're a first semester student. Uh, Pat, no hazing this year. Well, I'd like to start the first day off with something active, something fun. Um, does anybody have any ideas? How about some tennis? Hey, Ruben? Yeah, what's up, Brad? I was wondering, what does this have to do with broadcasting? Hmm, that's a good question. Um, I mean, what does going to Great America have anything to do with physics and what does going to a jail have anything to do with forensics class? We're taping it. I mean, when the physics class goes to Great America, I'm pretty uh, sure... Brad, 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 you're overthinking it. Uh, we need this scene for the show. Okay, whatever. Woo! Nice! Hey, Camilla. Hey, Alex. Hey, I never asked you. Did you ever get that role you auditioned for? Oh, no, some new church, I got it. I uh, didn't know you were a big tennis fan. Oh, I'm becoming one. So, uh, word is Pat's got a date for homecoming. Okay, why are you yelling it? Hey, it's funny that you guys bring up homecoming. I was just thinking about you two. Where's Christian? Has anybody seen him? He said he was going to his counselors and he promised me he'd be here, but he's not. Man, the line at Chipotle was insane. Didn't stop Zach and Brad from both ordering two freaking burritos. How is Zach even okay with playing tennis after eating a truckload of guac and beans? We made the smart choice. Avoid the line and head over to Panda Express. Why don't we look at our fortune cookies? Good call. Where are fortune cookies even made? Hey, uh, China, man. You did Japanese writing. It's weird. Watashi no hobakura futo wa unagi de ipai desu. Huh. Oh, I, I didn't, I didn't mean. I wasn't really offended. The loose translation, my hovercraft is full of eels. Nice match, Zach. Thanks, but I think I lost almost every point. No worries. It was just about me getting loose for my match after school and then for my match in night league later tonight. I wanted to crush him. I did crush him. A new school year begins and the smell of summer is still in the air. It can't be all about studying and tests. That would make this year a mess. So Zach, to brighten your day so you don't want to play hooky, here is this sweet and delicious cookie. Awesome. You say yes? Thank you. 